So here we go, here's the last comparison video between the Nintendo 64 and the Nintendo Switch version from Star Wars Racer. Yes, this is the original Nintendo 64 version from this game, played on the cartridge and captured in the native resolution from this amazing console. Oh my, finally, Star Wars Racer on the Nintendo Switch got an update. Yes, finally, some major bugs, including the weird messed up sound problems, are fixed. Still, there are some issues in this game. I really don't understand why they put or change some things. All in all, the update is good, but there are still wrong things in this game. Okay everyone, here we go with some additional information about sound on the Nintendo Switch version from Star Wars Racer. But first of all, did you ever watch Star Wars Episode 1 for the Phantom Menace and watch the pot racer scene? Yes. In this movie, in the first two rounds from the pot racer scene, there's actually no John Williams music. There's only effect music. The actually John Williams sound started in round 3 where Anakin has problem with, with his pot racer and everything. This is exactly the same thing on the Nintendo 64 version and only on the Nintendo 64 version, oh my goodness. And the amazing original soundtrack from John Williams actually starts in round 3, just like in the movies. Oh my goodness, and this is only available in this form on the Nintendo 64. 
not on Dreamcast, not on PC, not on PlayStation, not on Nintendo Switch. The base version for making the Nintendo Switch version is not the Nintendo 64 version from this game. This was intended. This was fan service. This was something what they really wanted to do. And it was on the N64. Seriously, 21 years ago. Why they changed things like this? Seriously. Ah. <sighs>